Hey guys, this is Sly here. Um, we're going to take a look at the Ace card right now. It's a slot 1 card for the Nintendo DS. Um, you can buy it online for around $15. You can get it from China. You can get it. Just you know, Google it. You'll find it. Um, it's A-C-E-K-A-R-D dot com. Um, we're going to go look at that right now, actually. Alright, so this is Ace card. This is what the card looks like. Uh, after you purchase it, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to this website and you're going to have to hit download. When you go to download, this is the screen you'll get. You want to get version 4.18 or whatever is the, the newest version for you when uh, when you get yours. So at the time of this video, it's 4.18. So we'll click that and we get this, this little save file. But I'm not going to download it because I have already downloaded it and we're going to go take a look. So you download the zip file and when you get it, this is what's going to be in it. You're going to have um, the Ace Card 2, the Ace Card menu for NDS, and the release note. Um, this is the game that I've put in there um, so that you know I can show you when, uh, when I actually get to the part where I'm going to show you what it looks like. Basically, you're going to take these two, the the Ace Card Menu 4 dot NDS and the underscore AK2. Those are your system files for your Ace Card. So you have to drop those onto the micro SD card that you've also purchased. The Ace Card does do high capacity, so any of your micro SD cards will work. Um, I have an 8 gig in mine, so you know it's fine to go up to about 8 gigs. I don't know anything higher than that. Um, it's one of the better slot one cards. Um, it, it's from what it's worth, the Ace Card 2i. It, it, it's more stable I want to say and I use I use it as my personal card even though I have the four of the, the best cards out there um, but anyway so you, you take these two and you attach them to your SD card um, and then you can get your game or your homebrew or whatever it is and you can just drop it anywhere else on that SD card and uh, the ace card will actually recognize what it is that you're doing and um, it'll find the game and you don't have to put it in any folders or anything like that so it's uh, I mean it's pretty simple just go to acecard.com again it's a c e k a r d dot com after you purchase the ace card you download that kernel and um, you're pretty much done so just drag it and drop it onto your um, micro sd card and I guess I'll show you um, what it's like on the ds in a second So uh, this is the Ace Card 2i. Um, it works with DSi as well as Nintendo DS. It has a nice little reflective screen. Um, you obviously put the micro SD right in there. I have an 8 gig in here because it takes high capacity so I can get tons of games. Um, you push it right in just like any other game cartridge. It slides right in, connects. Let's flip it over and turn it on. It loads pretty quickly. It goes to the DS frame, obviously, and then at the top, I know you guys can't read it in stupid camera. Um, it says Ace Card 2, and it gives you the website. But you click it just like it's any other game, and it loads. Gives you a nice little load screen. Um, the cool thing about this one, it actually gives you. Sorry about the reflection there. It gives you the the calendar and the time and things like that. Um, we look at the bottom and it asks you if you want to go to the micro SD card or if you want to go to the slot 2 card. Um, micro SD is the only one I have, so we click that. At the top, we have Game Boy Color games. I have movies and Nintendo DS, um, NES, SNES, things like that. Um, I'm actually, for this one, I'm not going to show you a Nintendo DS game. I'm going to show you how the Game Boy Color games come out. So we're going to open Game Boy Color. Um, we're going to open the lameboy.nds and then it's going to show me that I have, um, I can look at different things. So I'm going to go to the Game Boy Color one. I have Pokemon Blue, Gold, Red, Silver, Yellow. I'm going to, just for the purposes of the of the video, I'm going to show you Silver. So it loads it up. And this one it will only work at the top screen, because obviously there's no bottom screen on the original Pokemon. Um, it works, it saves, it plays, it's full compatibility. You know, so new game options, you know, everything works. Um, that's pretty cool, being able to play like my original Game Boy favorite games on, on my Nintendo DS and not have to switch between thousands of different cards. Um, this is one of my favorite slot 1 cards. It's the easiest I felt to use and was the best designed. Um, but anyway, that's the Ace Card 2i. Um, price is around somewhere like 15 bucks. I don't remember. You can order it offline. 
and uh, that's about it guys so thanks for watching if you need any help or you want to know about customization or you just have any general questions please feel free to comment or to uh, personal message me but that's about it anyway thanks for watching